stand by. Hey, what's up, students and staff? Welcome to the Nightline News Show. My name is Isaiah. What's going on, everybody? Christian here. And this news show goes out to Valverde High School, Valverde Student Success Academy, and Valverde Academy. What's going on, everybody? What's happening? Caleb here, and this is a new show, episode number 13. Wow, 13 shows already. So what's up, guys? Man, I can't believe that Thanksgiving is only one week away. Hey, do you want to hear a stupid, very bad Thanksgiving joke? Sure, no, 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 man, no, no, no. I got, I got jokes. You. No, I got, I got jokes. Okay, listen up. Why can't you take a turkey to church? I don't know. I, I don't know. No, no idea. Clue. They use foul language. Oh, man, come on, that was bad. Man, that was that bad. Was bad. <laughs> I got you. What do you get when you cross a turkey with a banjo? Man, I don't want to know. Man, don't tell me. <laughs> I don't want to know. A turkey that can pluck itself. <laughs> Gee, man, oh, that no, was that's horrible. 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 No it's more not, jokes. Please, no more. Man. Oh, okay, okay, guys, here's one that will top all of your stupid jokes. Here's the most stupidest joke ever. <laughs> man, man, I had, I had enough. enough. I really, really did. Man. I've had I'm enough. Done. All right. What does Miley Cyrus eat for Thanksgiving? Man, don't say no, it. No, don't say it. Don't say it. A twerkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Man, that was the worst joke Oh, that's joke the I've worst, man. You're wrong. You that's that terrible. You won, okay, dude? You won. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> now, here's history on Thanksgiving. We're all familiar with the story of the first Thanksgiving when the pilgrims invited local Native Americans to share a meal with them. But we bet you didn't know Thanksgiving didn't become an annual tradition until more than 200 years later. That first Thanksgiving in 1621 wasn't just one big meal. It was a three-day festival of eating, hunting, and other entertainments in honor of the pilgrims' first successful harvest. The Indians killed five deer as gifts for the colonists. So venison was definitely on the first Thanksgiving menu. But we bet you didn't know that turkey was not. They also didn't have pumpkin pie or potatoes, which hadn't been introduced to New England yet. And while they may have eaten cranberries, they would have been served plain, not in a sauce or relish. The pilgrims didn't plan on starting a Thanksgiving tradition. In fact, they didn't repeat the November celebration in subsequent years. In 1789, President George Washington announced the first ever national Thanksgiving holiday, which took place on Thursday, November 26th. But it didn't become an annual tradition nationwide until the 19th century. That's when an American writer named Sarah Josepha Hale, most famous for writing the nursery rhyme Mary Had a Little Lamb, was inspired by a diary of pilgrim life to recreate that first Thanksgiving feast. Beginning in 1827, Hale waged a nearly 30-year campaign to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. She also published recipes for pumpkin pie, turkey, and stuffing that probably didn't appear on the pilgrim's plates, but would become the staples of modern Thanksgiving meals. In 1863, in the midst of the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln announced that the nation would celebrate Thanksgiving every year on the final Thursday in November. But did you know, in 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to move the holiday up a week to give Depression-era retailers more time to make money during the pre-Christmas shopping season. The move was widely criticized, and in 1941, FDR signed a bill fixing Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday in November, where it stays today. One of the quirkiest Thanksgiving traditions began in 1989, when President George H.W. Bush granted the first official pardon to a turkey. Every November since then, the current Oval Office occupant has given a reprieve to one or two turkeys, sending them into retirement on a farm rather than to a dinner table. Though it only began in the late 20th century, the story has become one of the more unusual chapters in the long history of Thanksgiving traditions. So let's get started with our weekly weather report. Now here's Caleb. What's happening students and staff? 
Let's look to see what this week's weather's forecast will be like for the next seven days in the Paris area. Last week was a bit chilly, but this week we are looking at some nice temperatures and enjoyable weather. Today we are looking at sunny weather with highs around 85 degrees and with lows around 46 degrees. For Tuesday, highs are at 84 degrees and lows at 48 degrees. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with highs at 80 degrees and lows still at 48 degrees. Thursdays will be sunny with highs at 76 degrees and lows at 48 degrees. Friday, the temperature will drop to 72 and lows around 44 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, the temperature will stay the same around 71 for Saturday and 70 on Sunday, with lows around 38 degrees. So enjoy this week's pleasant weather, students and staff, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Back to you guys. The weather is looking real nice for this week. Thank you, Caleb, for that week's weather report. Now here's some ASB news. Hello everyone, welcome to another great week. I cannot believe it is already November. I don't even know what week it is, time is going so fast. Um, my name is Mrs. Owen and I'm here to tell you about some different activities that are happening right now on our campus, campuses as well as things that are going to be happening. Um, first off, an update on the clubs. Um, I'm excited to tell you that we have two clubs that are up and running now, uh, the hiking club as well as the fashion club. Um, the Fashion Club is meeting with Mrs. Cabral on Thursdays at 1230 and there will be information coming out, um, updated information about how to meet up with that club if you are interested in doing the Fashion Club with Mrs. Cabral. Um, the other great club that's joining us is also the Hiking Club. They are also meeting up at on Thursdays, but their time is going to be 1.30. So you're able to join both of the clubs on Thursdays if you would like to. Um, there'll also be more information coming out to you about how to join up with that club. Um, the other great thing that the Hiking Club is doing is they are doing our annual fall food drive. Now I know you're probably trying to think, well, how do I donate the food? This year, because of the COVID virtual situation, we are doing it a little different. Um, and they are going to be collecting money for actual gift cards to give out to those families who are in need this year. Um, it is going on through this week. November 18th is going to be the last day that you are able to give for this fundraiser. Now wait, I know you're like, how do I give the money? Good question. Um, by simply going to the ASB student store, um, which is attached to the Val Verde High School website, um, you are able to click on and donate money, staff and students. Um, are able to donate money for this wonderful cause um, to give to raise money for the gift cards to give to those families who are in need. Like I said, it is going on now through November 18th and it is through the ASB Student Store. Way to go. Thanks, Hiking Club, for thinking of everyone. Um, also, another great thing that's going to be happening and it's going to be starting up is we're going to be giving out gratitude shout outs. Um, this is both for the staff and the student of all the schools. Um, this is a wonderful time of year that we want to give thanks to everyone. And so the ASB is going to be putting out forms to both staff and students to be able to give shout outs to different people who have touched them, who have, who have given them something to be thankful for. Um, giving them a thumbs up, a positive message, something that they're like, you know what, this staff member, this student has put a smile on my face. So I want to give them a shout out. Now these shout outs are going, it's like I said, it's going to be a form that you're able to fill out. Um, pretty simple. Um, and then we, through that, we'll be able to post it on Instagram, social media, and even send messages through email, all right, to the different staff and students. So just something to be keeping in mind on, especially during this time of gratitude and giving thanks. Um, and so this will be put out through the ASB students. So be looking for that to be happening, hopefully this week or the following weeks, all right? Um, like I said, I hope everyone is doing great. This is happening so fastly, right? It's already the month of November. So I just wanted to say hi and hope everyone's hanging in there and having a great week. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Owen. Again, thank you, ASB, for all your hard work in making this year fun for us students. Now here's our assistant school principal, Mr. Toth, with some more news. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Toth here. Um, I was just thinking of a story of a friend of mine who told me that he was going to join the procrastinators club, but then he would do it the next week. Well, to procrastinate means to put off. 
And uh, kind of ironic because my message for today is um, do not put off till tomorrow what you can get done today. That is a quote from Benjamin Franklin. And the premise of that is to understand that many of us get caught up in doing fun stuff, stuff that we like to do. And sometimes we have some responsibilities that need to get done. And then we, we do everything we can to avoid or to escape the responsibilities of completing things, thinking that we would always do it later. Um, I would like us to get in the habit of making sure that we do the things that we have to do before that we do the things we want to do. You get up in the morning, I suggest that you do your chores, get a little bit of homework done. Then you get a chance to eat your breakfast and then you kind of work on your classes and uh, you get through the day, get your responsibilities of all the things you have to do, which makes it easier for you to enjoy the rest of your day. If you get in the habit of doing the things you want to do, thinking that you're always going to get to the things you have to do later, some of those things never get done. So again, back to Ben Franklin's uh, idea of don't put off till tomorrow what you can get done today. Let's see if we can live by that standard. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. Enjoy your week off next week uh, for Thanksgiving. When you guys come back, you only have three weeks left and then the, the quarter ends. So let's make sure we stay on top of, of doing what we need to do. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good week. Thank you, Mr. Toth. Now, here's a school principal, Mr. Quayla, with some final news. Good morning, Valverde High School, Student Success Academy, Valverde Academy. I hope everyone's doing well this fabulous Monday morning. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, we are down to the last week before Thanksgiving break. I don't have a lot to share, but I do want to say this. During Thanksgiving break, I just really want you guys to reflect on what you're thankful for. There's a lot of great things that have happened. Even with the negativities and all the stuff that's happened this year, 2020, there's still a lot to be thankful for. Our health and our loved ones. Reach out to your loved ones. Let them know you love them and you're thankful for them. Um, it's just a good time for that and to reflect. So I just want to encourage you to do so. And with that, I just want to say this. The quarter is ending and you're going to hear it all the time. The quarter is coming to an end very quick. We're in holiday season. You know there's not that many more weeks left. That means there's not a lot of time left if you guys are still owing a lot of work or need to make up some assignments. Reach out to your teachers. Make sure you get everything you're missing. So when the time comes for your grades, you pass and you get your credits. Progress reports have come out. Last day was last Friday. So you should be seeing updated grades coming up right now. If you're not happy with your grades, do something about it. And with that, have a great week. Teachers, thank you so much for what you do. Um, I can't thank you enough. You guys make me proud and proud to be principal here. Um, I can't thank you enough. So with that, just have a great week, great day. Thank you, Mr. Coelho. Now just remember students, this important quote for the week. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. That's by Dr. Seuss. Think about that. Well, that's it for our new show. Make sure to watch it every week. We will be broadcasting it from our YouTube channel. Please subscribe at VVUSD Teen Vision. Well, I'm Caleb. And I'm Christian. Until next time, same night time and same night channel. Goodbye and happy Thanksgiving. Catch you on the flip side. Happy Thanksgiving. Till next time. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.